Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. Today we've got a, a brand new fixture by a company called Noka Tech, UK based company. This is their flagship model, the FX Pro 1000. We're going to take a closer look at this fixture. Lots of other fixtures available from the same company. Their website link is below if you wish to check them out. Although this is a very big fixture physically, it comes very neatly and compactly packaged. The LED bars and the driver box here come separate, unassembled, in a very neat and, and compact package, as I said. The bars are very simple to assemble. They've got these um, connectors here. You just simply unpackage the bars and click them into place onto the uh, driver bar here on top. They are color coded, so you can't get them wrong. Um, it's red to red and gray to gray. As I said, it only takes a couple of minutes to put them together. Controls are very simple. You've got the onboard dimming control here. Knob adjusts in 20% increments from 20% up to 100%. And there is a network connection here, an RJ connector for network cable, so that you can dim and control up to 50 units simultaneously. There are eight LED bars on each fixture. All the LEDs are coated with the silicon coating to protect them from dirt and dust. The LEDs themselves, the white ones are 4K color temperature or sort of neutral to cool white Sanan uh, LEDs. With the reds are Osram 660 nanometer deep reds. I tested the spectrum with the Sensitech Passport spectra radiometer and the overall color temperature is a 3700K color temperature with a spectrum that's totally suitable from growing all the way from seed to harvest. So this is a very large fixture, very high power, suitable for filling and covering up to a 5x5. Five five. I put it into the 5x5 five five test area with silver mylar walls and dropped it down to its minimum hanging height of 2 foot or 60 centimeters above the test area. And I took 100 power measurements with the spot on quantum sensor to determine the total power output and the spread of that power output over the test area, as well as the system efficiency. The average power over the 5x5 was 867 micromoles, which is really high performance power level. And given the power consumption of 985 watts, the total power output reaching the plant canopy divided by the power consumption gives the system efficiency. In this case, it's 1.98 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt. So overall, this is a really nicely packaged, very compact piece of kit, lightweight, really easy to hang and provides a really good spread over the five by five. It's also great value too. You can see the prices below and just click through to the Nocotex website yeah, mainly available in the UK, I think, but maybe available um, to, in other areas in the future. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions about this fixture or anything else, please leave them in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Take care.